Lee here, and welcome to the Polis for December 5th, 2012, presented by LongboxRadio.com. This week we have, from Dark Horse Comics, uh, Willow, kind of a uh, spin-off to the Buffy uh, story, of course, uh, from Jeff Parker, Brian Ching. Uh, the covers are really, really cool in this series. Uh, the girlfriend reads them. I actually don't don't really uh, so much, but uh, no, really digging those covers, and from what I hear, it's great. So there's there you go. Uh, moving on to DC, we have Action Comics number 15. I was just saying before today that it felt... Like it's been a while since I read an action comics, uh, but there it is. Grant Morrison's story still uh, going strong there. It is the one Superman book I kind of keep on. I've dropped Superman like long, long ago, so kind of digging it. There it is, action comics. Uh, we have Earth Two, uh, one of the newer New Fifty Two books, as it were. James Robinson uh, is doing that one. Has had some pretty eye catching covers. Uh, super cool stuff going on. Uh, here we have Hawk Girl, and we have the Green Lantern, Alan Scott from uh, Earth Two fighting each other. Apparently, so cool stuff. Behind on reading those, though, I have a bunch of backlog that I need to, to get around to reading. Ferrist, we have uh, a, a fairly naked Rapunzel on the front there, and that's uh, 3 for 3 for Adam Hughes for uh, No Clothes and Rapunzel. Uh, it's two ninety nine. super, super cool book. Uh, if, again, if you like fables, or you like the idea of that universe, uh, kind of whimsical, mythical, you know, creatures and, and characters of legend uh, mixing in, you know, a, a more non-fictional world, which is kind of written to say. Uh, it's kind of a cool, cool book. So I do dig it. The first trade paperback is out. Definitely check it out if you want to kind of know what this book's about. The Rapunzel arc is, is more akin to fables where it's taking place in uh, real world environments and stuff like that. Uh, Swamp Thing number 15, Scott Snyder. We got Marco Rudy on art. No more Yannick Piquette. So probably one of the last uh, issues of this I'll actually pick up. But uh, we have Swamp Thing going to Gotham there. You can see the bat signal in the sky. So that's kind of cool. Moving on to Marvel, we have The Amazing Spider-Man, six ninety nine, one away from the big 700. Uh, Dan Slott kind of showed his hand last last issue with what this big controversial thing he had uh, lined up, so I can't wait to read this. I haven't yet. Um, there's going to be a free digital copy there, and like last episode, I'll have all the digital copies at the end for whoever gets to them first, so there you go. So Amazing Spidey, six ninety nine, right there. Uh, a book that apparently has been, to quote Mike Haynes, stomping asses. Uh, Jonathan Hickman, Jerome Pena on uh, Avengers number one right there. Uh, looks pretty damn good. It's been reviewing great everywhere. Uh, yeah, right right into a new... Wow, Hulk's looking pretty interesting there. Can't read to, can't wait to read this one as well. So Marvel Now has been uh, kicking ass so far. Let's just say that. Da -da -da. Come on, get in there. Bags and boards are really tight. Uh, Daredevil, End of Days. Uh, so we have Elektra showing up. Alex Maleev does the covers there. So, I mean, if that's not worth the... Uh, is it full price? I believe it's a $4 book. Uh, yeah, it is. You got a free digital copy, which you'll have at the end there. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis and David Mack do the story. Um, the gentleman by the last name of Jansen's on art. And it looks pretty good. It's it's not, you know, it's not Bendis and Maleev, Daredevil, but... Uh, it has its own kind of kind of look to it. So if you like what-if storyline kind of things, uh, this might be for you. I've really, really dug it. So only two issues, and it's uh, three, and now it's eight altogether. So will be a cool trade paperback as well if you, for anyone who likes Bendis uh, Daredevil. Uh, Fury, Max, number seven. We got Punisher showing up. Frank Castle is going to come help him out, uh, which is kind of neat. Of course, I am notoriously a huge fan of Frank Castle, Punisher, Max. So uh, looking forward to this, and it's... Um, Garth Ennis, so he'll, he'll be able to write him pretty good. Uh, Hawkeye, or Hawk Guys, Mad Fraction refers to him number five. Uh, Hawkeye's got some trouble with a sex tape. Great book. Uh, I can't uh, recommend another book at Marvel more than Hawkeye. Check it out. Um, when that first trade comes out, if you haven't read the other issues, definitely pick it up. Uh, even if you don't like anything about Hawkeye, the book's just put so well together, uh, it'll make you love him. Uh, Punisher Warzone, this is number 205. There's a parental advisory on this. Interesting. So that's from Greg Rucka right there. Um... Uh, What's interesting about this is I thought Thunderbolts 1 was supposed to be at the resolution of this, so we know how Punisher ends up on a super team, but uh, Thunderbolts 1 is right here in my hand, so I guess that's not the case. Uh, it's coming to us from uh, Way and Steve Dillon on art there. Uh, we have Punisher, we have Deadpool, Venom, Red Hulk, and Elektra on the fun new T-Bolts team, so looking forward to that one even though it won't necessarily make sense that Punisher's on the team yet. Uh, and Ultimates, this is 18.1, coming to us from Chris Humphreys. Um, Right there, I, I am way behind on this book and Ultimate X-Men still. I know I mentioned that last week as well, but I need to catch up on these and see what's going on to see if I actually want to continue reading the book. So that's about it for uh, books this week. Everything digital will be at the end. As far as the podcast is concerned, I'm not sure we're going to get episode 41 up. But uh, follow us on Twitter and all that fun stuff, and you'll uh, you know keep track of what, what us we're reading and all that kind of fun stuff. So that is the poll list for this week. We'll see you again next week. Enjoy those free comics.